Hi guys, welcome back to Divine Times 2. Hope you're having a good day. It's the first day of autumn, my favorite season, and I am so excited to show you how I make a creamy pumpkin and spice icebox cake. It's easy to make, but turns out absolutely delicious. If you have no idea which dessert to make for your upcoming holiday parties, gatherings, or after a simple meal, try this dessert. I'm excited to show you how I make this icebox cake, so join me in the kitchen and let's get started. Let's do the first step for this pumpkin and spiced up icebox cake. In a medium bowl, Add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Then add three tablespoons confectioner's sugar. Beat the heavy cream with the confectioner's sugar until stiff peaks form. I have stiff peaks. Now I'm going to set this to the side. In a large bowl, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Beat the cream cheese until it's creamy and fluffy. To the cream cheese, add two teaspoons pumpkin pie spice and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. half a cup brown sugar and one 15 ounce can pumpkin puree. If you have fresh pumpkin, you will need 15 ounces of it. Mix until everything is combined. Remember to scrape while you go because the cream cheese tends to stick to the bottom of the bowl and not mix with the rest of the ingredients. So this is ready. Now for the next step. Now fold in the whipped cream into the pumpkin mixture. Fold the whipped cream into the pumpkin mixture until combined. Cover and place in the refrigerator until ready to use. I'm using the same bowl that I made the other whipped cream and the confectioner sugar mixture. Here I have two cups of heavy cream. Add three tablespoons confectioner sugar and two teaspoons vanilla extract. This is going to be the cream topping for the icebox cake. Beat until soft peaks form. Now that this is in the soft peak stage, add four ounces of softened cream cheese. And mix well until combined. Let's begin assembling the icebox cake. Now for the icebox cake, I am going to use cookies. The cookies that I will be using is the Biscoff Lotus cookies and I bought the party size because you will need quite a bit of these cookies. Layer the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish with the cookies. I 
I've used 24 cookies for the bottom layer. Now for the pumpkin mousse. I am going to take half of the pumpkin mousse and layer it on top of the cookies. Carefully spread the pumpkin mousse. Make it as even as possible. Add another layer of cookies to the top of the pumpkin mousse. Add the remaining pumpkin mousse on top of the cookies. Spread the pumpkin mousse all over the cookies. Spread it as evenly as possible. Place the last layer of cookies on top of the pumpkin mousse. Now spread the topping over the cookies. Now guys, this is the hardest part of this recipe is that you will need to cover it and place in the refrigerator overnight so the cookies can become a cake-like consistency as they soften overnight. That's the hardest part. The cookie crumbs, don't throw them away. Place them in a zippered plastic bag and we'll use it for the cake tomorrow. Before we cut into the cake, let's make it pretty. Sprinkle over the cake about one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Remember those cookies I saved? I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Wait, before serving, place in the freezer for about 20 minutes to allow filling to slightly firm up and get cleaner slices when cutting. Guys, you need to make this creamy pumpkin and spice icebox cake. It is absolutely divine. So flavorful and delicious. It tastes similar to gingerbread and it's not overly sweet. The cookies have become soft, almost like a cake. The pumpkin mousse is so creamy and packed with flavor. It's a delightful, comforting dessert after a wonderful autumn meal. Give this icebox cake a try. You are going to absolutely love it. Well guys, thank you for watching. Comment down below. We love hearing from you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. So you won't miss out on our upcoming simple, delicious and comforting recipes. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.